So check this out. This is Tesla's new steering wheel patent. They say the user interface of the steering wheel may additionally include indicators provided at a lower portion of the steering wheel indicative of a selected gear engagement of the vehicle. That's just fancy words for you can see your gear selection on the steering wheel. That's right. cool. For example, the user interface may provide illuminated indications of engagement of park, reverse, neutral, or drive modes. Additionally or optionally, the steering wheel may include RFID detection and NFC activation functionality. Now, wait a minute. What What's that part? So the interesting part here with the RFID or the NFC to me speaks to being able to either take your Tesla credit card key to start the car, instead of putting it in that kind of weird spot where you wouldn't have thought that that's how you started the car, you put it on the steering wheel, okay. which makes a little bit more sense. And the NFC would be using your phone. Now that could either be to unlock your car or it could be a confirmation to turn on your car in terms of the Tesla network. Oh, so ride sharing. So basically I book a car with Tesla ride share, the car pulls up, I put my phone on the steering wheel, it now knows that it's Zach, and then I hop in behind the wheel and it drives me where I'm gonna go. And maybe I still have to be the driver for a while as we get to level you know, five autonomy. Now they say further, based on the gestures performed on and recognized by the user interface, the user may also receive feedback of the selections made with respect to the set or menu of controls. This interaction of the user may be manifested through gesture movements made directly on the user interface. For example, through proximity sensors, the user interface may sense that the user's digit is approaching a control manipulation functionality on the user interface, causing the user interface to provide feedback to the user. What the what kind of language is this? Yeah, it's uh, it's patent language. They okay, have to talk like this, otherwise, it's not going to be a legal. They can't okay. be like, "Hey, so is what we're gonna do?" You know, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. You have to use very nerdy to make sure the functionality sensors use the. You know, they okay, have to talk what, like that. What does it mean? Uh, it just means like you know when you're typing on your phone yep. and your phone make, just like vibrates just a little bit yep. so it feels like you're pressing a button almost. Oh, haptic feedback. Haptic feedback. So that's what they're talking about there that it's going to be giving you some cues that you're going to be doing something and a lot of people are like why why do we need this? We have thumb wheels already. You know there are plenty of physical interactive uh, ways of interacting with your car. For anyone who's ever tried to clean their car before all the knobs and dials and switches. It's hard because, especially like if you think about that thumb wheel, you know, you <coughs> cough all over your hand and then you, you know, scroll the thumb wheel. Somewhere in the back is where oh, your all the coffee germs. germs are. So if someone came in there and did a quick, you know, it's not going to clean anything. You know, it, you're, it's still going to be kind of dirty. So the idea here could be that you're making the car a little bit easier to clean for when we have the Tesla network. Because there's no wheels or, or little lines or anything, it, everything's a nice flat surface. Kind of like with the touchscreen, whoosh, clean. I also think it's to make things last longer. Uh, there's less moving parts, which means things are probably going to last a whole lot longer. Yeah, I mean, that, that could be one potential thing here. And it's important to keep in mind that it, the, a patent doesn't mean that they're going to make this. Right. Um, so if, if people are, like, super worried and they're going to start stockpiling, you know, Tesla steering wheels, you know, don't get too worried. Right. They patent a lot of things, and we don't necessarily see them all. Right. Uh, what I find interesting is that according to the patent application, two Tesla engineers designed the steering wheel. Felix Goddard, he's a former Taycan designer, and he designed the Model 3 steering wheel. He's now working for Lucid Motors. And Joris Aertz worked as an electrical engineer for six years, but he left about a year ago. Right. Um, Again, this is the innovation that Tesla is constantly doing. They're just freaking patenting so much stuff. Right. Which points to the fact that they've been developing this technology well in advance. Right. Like they've, they've already been working on this stuff and finally the patent you know, went through. Thanks so much for watching this Now You Know clip. Head over to Now You Know channel for full episodes of Tesla Time News and In Depth. And if you want to treat yourself and your family to something amazing, check this out. Jesse and I have been enjoying Masterclass, where we've been learning all sorts of fun topics from the masters themselves. Yeah, business leadership skills from Bob Iger. Yeah, that Bob Iger. Jazz from Herbie Hancock. Basketball from Steph Curry. Yeah, that Steph Curry. And so many more. Click the link down below to support our channel and experience what it's like to learn from the masters at Masterclass.